I believe in this. Just take your Praise the Lord. I'm going to sing this little song and sing with us. Next, we're going to bring our preacher up. Prayer, I know the wish. What a mighty God we serve.
bless you and praise you. Again, for another opportunity to be in your presence. Father, we thank you for your love. We thank you for your grace. We thank you for your mercy. We thank you for your word. Father, we thank you for the baptism of the Holy Spirit that you've given to us. Father, we thank you for this day. We thank you for this time that you've given us, Father. To come before you, Father, because we have need of you. Father, if you would withdraw yourself from us, we have no place to go. But, Father, we come as your word says. We come boldly before your throne of grace, Father. Because now in our time of need, we need help, Father. And, Lord, we call unto you, Father. You said your name is a strong tower and that we can run to you and find safety, Father. Lord, we come, Father, because we need you, Father. Lord, our hearts are overwhelmed, Father. We look to the rock that is higher than I, Father. And, Lord, we thank you, God. We thank you that you've given us the garment of praise for those of us that have the spirit of heaviness. Lord, we thank you, Father, that those of us that are in mourning, Father, that you said in your word that we should be confident, Father. And, Lord, we bless you, God. We ask that you would allow your Holy Spirit, Father, to penetrate our hearts and our minds, God. Bless us, Lord, that we would surrender our will for yours, Father. That we would surrender our nature and our character for yours, Father. Lord, we thank you for blessing this service, Father. We thank you for blessing everything that is done and said for your glory and for your honor. Lord, we thank you for blessing your people to be edified in this service, God. Lord, remember if there are any of those that are among us that have ailments in their minds, Father, in their bodies and in their hearts, Father. Lord, we, your word says that your hand is not too short that you couldn't save. Your word says that your ear is not too heavy that you can't hear, Father. And Lord, we lift our and we cry out to you, Lord. Lord, we need you today, God. Lord, we need you today, God. Make your hands to our supplication, God. Come to our rescue, God, in the name of Jesus. Send deliverance, God. Send deliverance, Father. Make us whole, God, in the name of Jesus. By your word, Father. Bless our minds, Father, that we might understand your word, God, in the name of Jesus. And we thank you that you delivered us today, God. We receive it, Father. Your word says that with your stripes that we are here. We thank you for deliverance today, God. We thank you that you've already set us free, God. Bless us to walk in it, God, in the name of Jesus. Father, forgive us of our sins, our transgressions, and our shortcomings. Forgive us of our human frailties that often hinder us from gaining a closer walk with you, God. We thank you for traveling mercy, Father. We thank you for blessing our dignitaries, God, in the name of Jesus. Continue to bless and keep them, Father. Give them the vision for your people, Father. Bless them, Father. Bless us that we would walk, Father, as you've cho you shown them, God, in the name of Jesus. And Lord, bless the word that's coming, Father, in the name of Jesus. Prepare our hearts even now to receive the word, Father, in the name of Jesus. Bless us, Father, we confess today, even now, Father, that it is going to fall on that good ground, Father, that brings forth much fruit for the upbuilding of your kingdom, Father. Lord, we bless you today, Father. Lord, we confess that you are our God and our King, Father. We confess that we love you, Father, and we thank you that you chose us even before the foundation of the world, Father, to be here at this time, Father. And we bless you for this day that you've given us, Father, to be refreshed, Father, in the name of Jesus. And Lord, if there's anything that I forgot to pray for, if there's anyone I forgot to pray for, as your word says, Father, allow your Holy Spirit to make intercession for us, God, in the name of Jesus. And Lord, we'll give your name the glory. We confess that you are glorified in our lives.
prayer. God bless you. I don't want to make the yo-yo out of the finish. You're staying again. Yeah, you're going to go into a liturgy. Isaiah chapter 8. Read responsibly. Crowd out. Spare now. So that thy voice like a trumpet, show my people the transgression and the house of Jacob their sins. Yes, Wherefore have we fasted, say they, and thou seest not? Wherefore have we, have we afflicted our soul, and thou takest no knowledge? Behold, in the day of your fast you find pleasure, and exact all your labors. Is it such a fast that I've chosen? A day for a man to afflict his soul? Is it to bow down his head as a bulrush and to spit sackcloth and ashes unto him? Will thou call this a fast? An acceptable day to the Lord? Is it not to deal thy bread to the hungry, and that thou bring the poor that are cast out of the house? When thou seest the naked, that thou cover him, and that thou hide not thy serpent thine own flesh? This is like the great world that's just the morning. Then shall thou call, and the Lord shall answer, and thou shalt cry, and he shall say, Here I am. If thou take away from the midst of thee the yoke, the putting forth of the finger, and speaking vanity, and if thou draw thy soul to the hungry, and satisfy the afflicted soul, then shall thou rise from the and thou art the and the Lord shall guide thee continually and satisfy thy soul in drought. Then shall thy light the ship of the Lord. I will cause you to ride upon the high places of the earth and feed thee with the heritage of Jacob thy father. For the mouth of the Lord hath spoken it. Shine be ye therefore perfect, even as your Father which is in heaven is perfect. But seek ye the first the kingdom of God and his righteousness, and all these things shall be added unto you. I'm going back to Jesus. Yes. Going back to Jesus. I'm going.
stealer. Thou shalt not bear false witness against thy neighbor. Thou shalt not cover thy neighbor's house. Thou shalt not cover thy neighbor's wife. Nor is man servant, nor is maid servant, nor is ox, nor is ass, nor anything that is in thy neighbor's. So be the law. Move in James, the second chapter. First, the same of that is over. Who serves the evil of the law? If you have a feeling at one point, he is guilty of all. For he that said he did not commit adultery, said also he did not kill. Not that I have not committed no adultery, if he had not killed. But I have become a transgressor of the law. So speak in it, so do. And the day they shall be judged by the law of liberty. I love that king. I love that king.
people to do this in a long time.
Hallelujah, two years. Y'all, those of you who know me, I love to drive. Yes, yes, you yes. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Praise report. Thank you. Mm. Come on. Glory, glory. Thank you. We're only about two and a half hours from Gaston, Alabama to Atlanta. Make it through. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. I was so tired. He was so tired. I said, honey, I can drive. Ah, look at God. Come on. I can drive. I can drive. Hey. Hallelujah. 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 Hey.
once did, but all of these dance for you. Now, we're about to relinquish this part, but I'm, as most of you know, Lady, Lady Pastor is my aunt, my mother's sister. And of course, I've known her obviously all of her life. And I thought she had, she was the driving this teenager I've ever seen in my life. 16 years old, a bed she was driving, and she was an excellent driver. Yes, yes. Uh, we love you, lady.
being over the southern division. Yeah. I thank God for the notice, men of God. Amen. Uh, we've been through some good times, yes. some not so good times, yes. and some great times. Right. But as the superintendent that I, and the saints, everywhere I pass, they'll tell you, I follow leadership. Right. And if something come up, uh, even in teaching, and it's got to do with the church, I don't go straight to the chief, I go to him. That's right. And every once in a while, we call the chief and refer about them, and the chief tells listen to us, and say, what y'all think? That's right. <laughs> And he said, I empower y'all to do the job. That's right. So we That's said, right. Chief, thank you, and we're going to do our job. That's right. And when you have a relationship like that, right. your work is easy. Yeah. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. I thank God for Bishop David Wallace. Yeah. 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 You know, I'm prepared for you today and introduce to those who just might not know him, but most people know him because he's been in the church all his life, and, and he know church. Uh, some pastors don't know church, but he knows church. I thank God for him tonight, today, and before he comes, uh, the mass choir of the Southern Division. Who's coming? Before he comes, they're going to take an offer. And then the choir gonna sing, and then we're gonna hear from our superintendent, the honorable apostle David Wallace. God bless you today.
graveyard shift. Maybe some of y'all may not know anything about that. It's from 11 to 7 in the morning. Yes. Yes. And they called me in for an interview with the school district. Right. Went in for the interview. Man began to ask me questions. He said, because you know, I'm 68 years old, but I haven't always been 68. Come on, come on. I was a little bit younger, and he said, we don't usually like to hire young people because they won't work. And he asked me then, he said, if we give you the job, will you work? I said, if you give me the job, I'm going to be at work. But I'm going to tell you one thing that I do not do. I do not work from the time the sun goes down on Friday. Go, sir. Right. Just go down again on Saturday. Right. Oh, Mr. Wallace, we with the school district. You won't have any problems. I said, OK. This was about May. Started the job. That time the convocation was in August. <laughs> God gave me favor with the yes, sir. director of vocational education that I was working for. All right. And I went in there and I told that man, I said, listen, I know I just started this job, but I need to be off to go to my church convention. He looked at me and said, well, David, you did just start in. You know you don't have any vacation time. So I don't know if we can give you those days off or not. I said, I'm going to my convention. That's right. You know, God is so good. Yes, he is. He is. He is. Probably one of the only people that went on the job and got a paid vacation for only being there two months. God is good. This man got allowed to be a lesson to us. Jonathan was, I think, about four or five years old, and he didn't like the babysitter that we had selected for him. I went in there to this man and I said, sir, we're having some problems acquiring a babysitter for our youngest son. He said, bring him, bring him on to work with you. The man was so impressed by my work, he didn't want me to take off to take care of my son. He said, bring him to work with you. And, and, and listen, I'm not making any of this up. This is true. It happened. And from that time until Jonathan went to the first grade, he went to work with me every day. Lady, lady would fix my lunch. Then she got to turn around and fix Jonathan's <laughs> And he went to work with me. And when they saw the custodian bringing his son to work, everybody else started bringing their little children to work. <laughs> oh, I'm going to get to the message. You go, When Jonathan went to the first grade of kindergarten, well, first grade, because he was going to kindergarten, part-time, he'd come and spend the rest of the day with me. Director of vocational, and I'm not talking about just, uh, just the ordinary principal. He was the director of vocational education. He came to me one day, he said, Jonathan in school? I said, yes, sir. This man called a faculty meeting with his faculty and told him, said, no more children at the career center. <laughs> Everybody, they, see, they were bringing that child because Jonathan was able to go. So he called the whole thing down. Nobody could bring their children to school with them no more. 
God is good. Look at God. Look at God. And from there, that means God gave us favor with him. Yes, yes. Saritha would tell you this that when she started to work in there, and we were getting ready to come to convocation. Her, her check wouldn't have gotten to her until after we came back from convocation. So I went in his office. Come on, talk about his it. Went in vocational educational office, his office. And I said, listen, Sarita's working here. She's working at the career center with, with me, but working in a different department. I said to him, I said, she won't get her paycheck until we get back from our conference. He scratched his head a little bit and looked. He said, go get her and bring her here. We sat down in his office. He said, listen, I'm going to pay you for the time that you work. And when you get back from your convention, I want you to bring that money back to me. Oh, this man took money out of his pocket, paid her, and when we got back from convocation, I went, she got a check and she cashed it, and she went in there and paid the man. Oh, that man didn't have to do that. Yeah. But no. Oh, and I praise God for giving us favor. Yeah. We were able to go on from that place of work to work at Win Dixie. I know y'all said Win Dixie, but a long time ago. She went there. Somebody came in and saw her working at Win Dixie and went from there to working with the bank. And she's still there at the bank. Because God gave favor. And I worked for Georgetown County School District for 28 years and no days. <laughs> y'all understand it. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. They had a program there they called a Terry program where you could work and they would take your little check and put it in the bank and then when you, after the Terry program was over, they would give you one lump sum. I told a lady, I said, the only carrying I'm going to do was for the Holy Ghost. I ain't carrying you no more. So when I got to 28 years, it was the end of May 2011. Yes, yes. And the school year is over at the end of June. Right. Some people who that didn't have favor, told me, said, well, they're not going to let you go at the end of May. I said, what's going to hold me here? They told me 28 years. I told a lady I wasn't working another day. I didn't give them 21 plus one, 28 plus one. I gave them 28 years exactly, and I left there. And I praise God for it. I went in the, I worked right up under the superintendent of schools. I was a custodian of the district office. From the career center to the high school to the district office. And I went back there about two months later, and the superintendent came and he spoke to me. He's limping like this. Uh -oh. I said, what happened? Now, now this man is the superintendent of schools for the whole Georgetown County. He told me, he said, I dropped a bow cabinet on my foot. Oh my. And listen to this, he told him, he said, if David had been here, I wouldn't have been moving no bow cabinet. Right, right. I'd be there in the morning when they get there. They pack up their bags in the evening to go home. I'm still on the job. So that's why I told a lady I wasn't going to give them another day. 
but I left there and I'm not boasting. I'm just telling you how good God is. They hired three people to do the job I was doing and still wasn't getting the same work that I was doing. Working. So when you hear Brother David talking about being retired, I was glad to get out of there. And when I went back there and saw the superintendent living out, he said, don't you want to come back? And I walked around the building for a couple of hours, looking around at things. I, I, I said, well, I'll come back. On my way out the door, the Lord spoke to me and said, I delivered you once. Your next delivery may not be so pretty. Y'all know what? I ain't been back no more. No more, no more, no more. But God, God's been good to us, saints. I praise him for that. I praise him for watching over me while I was working. Amen. Now that I'm at a place where I don't have to go, I give God's name the glory. All of the honor and all of the praise. And it wasn't easy getting to this point. But I thank God that he allowed me to get to this point in my life. Amen. And when it's time for the meetings now, Lady and I, we may go to Lexington and stay a week, week and a half. Don't have to tell nobody. Don't have to ask nobody for no time off. We can do that now, so I'm grateful. Yeah. Hallelujah. God, the Lord. Amen. See, you don't know the, the, our story, praise God. You can't even rejoice with us when we rejoice. We had to go, amen, when we were working, we get off from work on Friday evening, make our way to Lexington, make our way to this city, to that city. That's right. Stay there the weekend, have a weekend meeting, get up early Sunday morning, make our way back home, and be back on the job Monday morning. Amen. amen. Lady, lady, tell you this. Now, I don't encourage anybody to do this, but I did. I left days on the books because I went to work. Days they didn't pay me for, I left them with the school district. Listen, I don't encourage you to do that, but I did it. <laughs> Lady said she told me not to. I go to work because I, I wanted to prove myself that I could do it. And I praise God for it. So you see me now just kind of taking it easy. Amen. I have earned that. So don't, 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 if you don't understand it, don't criticize it. But thank God that He enabled us to do that down through the years. Amen. But we want you to know that, praise God, because God is good to us. He is still good all the time, all the time. God is good. Amen. And I glorify him for that. And we give honor to God again. We honor, I want to honor our Lady Ember. Yeah. Praise the Lord, Lady Thank you, God, for allowing her to be here. Bishop Jones and Apostle Pastor, their, their companions, to the absence of my state superintendent, our Bishop Robert N. Johnson and Lady Johnson. We pray God for it. I want you to know that Bishop and Lady would have been here and Bishop not taken sick. Amen. But God, and we're believing God for a miracle for our Bishop John. Continue to pray for and praise God. The Almighty will heal him, give him a complete recovery. Hallelujah. Praise God.
If you got your Bibles, we want you to go with us to St. Matthew chapter 6, verses 7 and 8. St. Matthew chapter 6, verses 7 and 8. Again, saints, I want you to know the Lord is good to us, and I thank him just for being the good God that he is. Amen to us. Amen. When I, when I think about our state superintendent, I told the pastor this morning that I'm, I'm, the, I'm the youngest of the state superintendent, and Bishop Jones and I were born in the same year, but he's a, he's a few months older than I am. He was born in June. Can, can I tell him the year, Bishop? Yes, sir. He was born in June of 54, and I was born in October of 54. So I, I'm the youngest of the, of the state superintendents, amen. But one of the things that I thank God for in them being state superintendents, they have a great deal of respect for me. Yes, amen. And I praise God for that. Amen. amen. We're not in any competition with each other. They call me with some sensitive materials, and sometimes I call them. Bishop Johnson is my state superintendent. Sometimes the things are going on, I call Bishop Johnson. He, 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 he do the district, but he is my state superintendent, and when the time comes, I call him. Sometimes he calls me with things that's going on, and I thank God for the relationship that we have with the superintendent. You all continue to pray for us, Georgia, Alabama, Florida, North Carolina, and South Carolina. Continue to pray for us, amen, as we continue on in the name of the Lord, working together in the ministry. And we bless the Lord for that. St. Matthew chapter 6 and verse 7 reads, but when ye pray, but when ye pray, use not vain repetitions. Use not vain repetitions. As the heathens do. As the heathens do. But, but they think that they shall be heard for their much speaking. For they think that they shall be heard for their much speaking. Uh -huh. Be not ye therefore like unto them. Be not ye therefore like unto them. For your father knows what things ye need have need of. Amen. For your father knoweth what things ye have need of. Before ye ask him. Before ye ask him. We chose the subject, amen, for the meeting. Jesus knows. Yeah. He knows. He knows what you stand in need of before you ask. Yes, that's, that's a great father. for things for the people of God. 
Oh yeah, there are many times I'm just laying in the bed calling out the saint's name. Yeah. yeah. Songwriter said, somebody pray for me. Yeah. Lord, yeah. hallelujah, help me on the mind. Yeah. 
there. Glory to God. 2 Timothy chapter 2 and verse 19. Amen. This is the familiar scripture to most of us. Praise God. 2 Timothy chapter 2 and 19 says, Nevertheless, nevertheless the foundation of God standeth sure. I want you to 
know and understand that Jesus knows, amen, all about you. Uh, Jesus knows uh, what it takes to get you into the kingdom. Hallelujah. Job the 23rd chapter, verse 10 says, but he knows the way that I take. See, Jesus knows all about us, but he knows the way that I take. When he has tried me, I shall come forth as gold. Glory to God. And see, I'm glad about it uh, that the Lord did not leave us. Hallelujah. Wondering uh, which way to go. We know that we as the people of God. Uh, we got to serve him. Uh, and I encourage you to serve him uh, until you die. Yes, sir. Till I die. Thy works 
Yes. And let my soul know it right well. Yes. Verse 23, search me, O oh God, and know my heart. Try me and know my thought. And see, see, he knows all about us already. We want him to search us. And see if there be any wicked way in me and lead me in the way everlasting. Because you know all about me. Glory to God. You know where I come short now. Friday. 
and June the 1st, which is Sabbath day, no district will have a meeting that weekend. Oh, right. So that moves us up until the 14th and 15th, and we'll be going to Sandy, South Carolina. Hallelujah. I hope that some of the pastors will come to me after this meeting and say, you know what? We got a couple of years to prepare. We'll take the next meeting. Come on. Come on. Somebody else come to me and say, we, we got a couple of more years to prepare. We'll come take on. the next meeting. Right. Yeah. That's what we all take. Right. Amen. We don't have to go through no whole lot of, you know, red tape and amen through a whole lot of people. You can come right directly to me right. and we'll bring the meeting to you. All right. Amen. Yes, Lady Paula said we'll be happy to. Amen. I, I know y'all don't want to look at us in Georgetown every year. But y'all really don't. We, we, we love you, but we don't want y'all coming to Georgetown every year for district meetings. No, we don't. Don't, don't, don't say that. Don't say that. We, we love you, but we would like we would love to bring the meeting to you. You're here as a member. Go, go to your pastor and say, you know what, Pastor? I think we can put this thing together. Have Apostle Wallace to contact this one and that one and see if we can't bring the meeting to us. It would be a wonderful thing that one year that you wouldn't have to travel but the saints could travel to you, praise the Lord. Amen. And we would love to bring the Southern District meeting to you. It doesn't always have to be in Atlanta. It doesn't always have to be a man in Jacksonville. We, we'd like to, amen, discover some new territory. Go somewhere we've never been before. Hallelujah. Watch out, Charles, for Come on. Come on. <laughs> Praise the Lord. However the Almighty leads us, we would love to bring the meeting to you. We're finished. Amen. We have our executives here, our assistant to our chief apostle, Amen. Apostle Daly. I really feel bad about doing it like this, but we've got about 20 minutes. And I believe they can they can say something to us together. Amen. One go, amen, and then leave about few minutes, amen, but we want to, amen, and hear, just receive the word a few minutes ago that they would like for us to be out of here by 6.30, so Apostle Clark and Apostle Daly, I thank you all too, Apostle Clark, Apostle Daly is giving it to you, amen, so you, you have just a few minutes, amen. <laughs> 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 Superintendent, we thank you for that wonderful message today. I know that we've all been inspired by it. I do give honor to God today and to also daily uh, to the Chief of Apostles and to uh, Mr. Jones as well for all of you that are here. Uh, I was not here in service last evening. I was not fit for public viewing. <laughs> You would not have liked to see me last night. I'm better than this. Amen. We thank God for all of you. Uh, I, I just want to make a quick, quick uh, announcement here. Don't forget our annual general convocation. Amen. It took place on July 20th through the 22nd, beginning on Thursday evening, going through Sabbath day. Don't miss it. I think you will be greatly blessed. By yes. here. If it's Amen. not on your list, uh, I would encourage you to do that. Our theme this year is Vision 21-23, Next Generation. 
We just celebrated the centennial here in House of God in uh, 2018. 30 years this church has been around. Hallelujah. And we're so thankful for that. But this church is based on the foundation. It's based on God's, uh, Jesus Christ's principles of the Bible. Jesus built this church and he promised, he promised that it would succeed. Amen? Amen. Amen. So next generation is simply beings. It doesn't stop with the first centennial. We're projecting on out. I don't know what 2123 will look like. Uh, we may have an excursion to the moon for a Sabbath service. I don't really know what that's going to be. But whatever it is, we must we know that the Sabbath will be there. Amen? Tuesday will be there. Amen. Amen. The Holy Spirit will be there. Hallelujah. To perpetuate and be sure that we're making plans for next generation. Not one generation. Next generation. Amen. Yes, Amen. Be there. We'll be talking about that tomorrow in convocation and leading up to it. Thank you so very much. This has been a wonderful district. Amen. So thank you. Amen. Amen. Our Bishop Davis, we're glad to have you today. We're very glad for you. Amen. And uh, Bishop Foxworth was here from Paul. Amen. Someone else that I want to make mention. No. Yes, yes, yes. Our, our son, Minister David Wallace, and Sister Khadija, our daughter. That is a great man of God there. Yes, yes. Amen. Amen. And I praise God for him. Our, our, my sister Jerry is back there. Yes. And sister Brown here is my, is my, my great grandson. Is he away? He's away. And Caden, oh. wait, wait. Okay. Right. Right. I, I know we've got to get out of here, but any time that he comes in the room and I'm talking to someone on the phone, he's used to, you know, seeing faces and, you know, FaceTime and things like that. So he's waving, uh -huh. amen, and people can't see him. I was on the phone with Bishop Jones the other day, and I said, Bishop Jones, Caden's waving at you. <laughs> amen. And he is a little fella, amen, just turned three years old. He's, he's developing and growing a love for the house of God. And whenever he sees the church logo come up, I have to keep reminding him that it's Apostle Clark. He says, Clark. <laughs> he, don't, he don't need to see the face. Just the church logo comes up. And we were in Lexington, maybe at one of the meetings, and I asked him, I said, you want to go see Apostle Clark? He said, yes. So I had to take him over there to see Apostle Clark. My, my, my. Amen. And I praise God for that. Saints, we want to continue in the things that the Almighty has for us to do oh, yes. in these last and evil days. If this is all that would claim our attention, I, 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 got, I, I, I saw that lady while she said she's through. Oh. <laughs> God bless you, saints. I, I told y'all sometimes I even get on my nerves. Sister, yes. I'm so sorry. I did just want to put this out here um, for the Garden of Life ceremony that takes place at the annual conference each year. Um, I just wanted to let you know if you have a loved one that you want to have acknowledged, um, there's still time. We only have one week left for a brick order. We can't do any benches at this point. But if you have a brick that you want to honor, uh, a memorial brick to honor your loved one, you can um, see me after service. I'll give you the information um, for what you would need. But I just want to make sure that that's out there. Thank you so much. Elder Ham. Yes, sir. Finance Committee. I'll be quick. Yeah. 
We raised $8,290 and we have paid $5,000 since $0.86 to the national headquarters. And if you want a further breakdown, come see me and I will share. God bless you.